So about a year ago, I was out racing in my local track, and at the second to last race, I won and secured my place in the final round. So as a little victory thing, I slammed on the brakes and did a little flip. Didn't land it, but it was fun nonetheless. Everybody liked it. Well, after that, and we were waiting for the last race, a kid came up to me and asked me three questions. First, why do tires balloon so much? Second was, why did I tilt it, and how was I able to tilt the car and make it flip? And thirdly was, why is suspension so important? He was very new to the hobby and did not understand. So that gave me a great idea for a video, and I figured I'd help you guys for any questions you may have had on this subject. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another video. I am The Hobbyist, and today, as you saw in the first clip, we're going to be talking about suspension and tires as a lesson in RC physics. So, it may not be the most interesting video, but hopefully it's helpful to some. I'm going to be using my low-C tenacity truggy today because I don't want to use my race truck out when I'm at my house. Anyway, we're going to be talking about the importance of your shock absorbers in handling and landing jumps. So I'm gonna show you some slow motion video and you're gonna see the suspension compress a lot and it'll and then I'll explain exactly why that is. That as you see the suspension compresses down as you see the car does not even jump off the ground again. The suspension soaks it all up. That's exactly what you want. That's what the suspension is there for. So here on the second drop, I want you to look very closely at how much the chassis drops in relation to the tires. You can see the suspension there is doing all of that to compress, and you notice that the tire barely jumped off the ground. That's exactly what you want in your suspension. It is what dampens your landing effectively, and that's what you want in jumps. Alright, so the next point I want to make about suspension is how it makes your vehicle handle well. So I'm gonna be driving across here and you're gonna see it in slow motion and you're gonna see how much the suspension moves up and down just on this light gravel. Mind you, the tires are kinda of big, so um, it's gonna get absorbed in the rubber a lot as well. So as you notice here in slow motion, look at the tires compared to the body. You will notice that the tires are going up and down quite a bit, and that's the suspension doing its job soaking up these little bumps. If the suspension wasn't there, then the car would spin out of control effectively. All right, so the last thing I want to address is how doing flips works. So I'm gonna demonstrate this by taking the tenacity and doing a backflip off of here. And so, and then I'll play it back again in slow motion and you'll see how incredibly massive the tires get, and then I'll explain why that is. All right guys, so as you saw in that last clip, when the tenacity jumped and did its backflip, the tires got huge and the suspension also compressed. And that's what, part of what the suspension is there for. It's to soak up that landing. Now, I am now realizing that I did not explain why the tires are ballooning. Basically, Newtonian physics teaches us that as an object spins faster, it basically tries to separate. And so the tires ballooning is the, basically the rubber trying to get further away from itself as the RPM rises. And that's why you see in the slow-mo, the tires are getting pretty big. As for the reason the vehicle was flipping, that's basically rotational inertia. As the tires are getting bigger, all that rotating force is causing the vehicle to flip. I was accelerating, which was causing it to backflip. But if I hit the brakes, then it would have front flipped. Anyway guys, that's gonna do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment in the section below for what videos you'd like to see next. That's all for today, everybody. Goodbye.